Yeah, should we roll into some tech? Um, all right, so obviously it's going to be released on the PS5. The PS5 is going to hold the tech, and yeah, you've touched on you know the haptic feedbacks and whatnot. Um, so in terms of can you go into a bit more detail about you know using the dual sense, uh, even the 3D audio, or even the uh, famous SSD, which is you know famed for making games like Ratchet and Clank work so beautifully on the PS5 as opposed to anything else. <laughs> so, um, oh, yeah. how have you found uh, the technology actually hate um, helping you or um, or causing obstacles? How's that been for you? Um, it's been fantastic um yeah we, we kind of talked about the uh adaptive triggers and haptics but yeah. it, it that that stuff like i have a feeling that even though we have put as much of that as we can possibly think to do there's probably still more and we probably won't get all of it because there's just is so much we can do with it mm-hmm. but um you know, playing because we've tested it both ways because there is an option in the game to turn them on and off playing the game with them off is just it's it's nowhere near the experience when they're on Mm. it it dramatically changes the way it feels it it feels more like you're actually doing the things that you're doing in the game when you have all that because like if you do a halligan bar door on the ps5 controller it literally feels like you're actually prying it open because of the trigger i've been playing it afterwards without the triggers and it literally feels like you're just watching something happen on screen. Yeah, Rather actually, with that controller, it feels like you're actually doing that. It. That's that's kind of a good way to put it. You, it feels like you're actually doing the actions versus watching it. Yeah, yeah. like it, yeah. it is directly translated to your fingers. It's it's amazing. Um, and then like the three D audio that that one's been fun, especially because I'm really big into audio stuff. Um, it's it's really hard to explain because it is similar to like a surround sound kind of concept, yeah. except that it's it's more than surround sound. It because it feels like it goes over your head as well, which is really strange to like describe. Um, with man, because like we went through the game multiple times, like being very judgmental on the audio because the we use the soundscapes uh, plugin in Unreal Engine. That the uh, I don't know the name of the the new guy who revamped all of Unreal's um, audio, but he is a genius beyond belief because he implemented this system as well as the new MetaSound system, and being able to have a lot of sound effects that we choose kind of play randomly in the environment from different distances makes it sound like if you were really there and you were really hearing the sounds, like it's a real environment. Nice. Um, it's it's way easier to experience than to explain. It, it's very it's very interesting, um, but at the same time, so if you try to play the game with a stereo head set of headphones that is just standard, yeah. and you have three yeah. D audio on, the game will not sound right. <laughs> so if if three D audio is on, you have to have a three D audio headset, right? Because without it, it sounds weird. Um, so if, if people play the game with just standard headphones, mm-hmm. they need to turn 3D audio off so that they can still hear everything correctly.